Welcome back to CBS This Morning. The governor of Louisiana is making an urgent new appeal for people in his state to get vaccinated, pointing to what he calls an astronomical, his word, rise in COVID cases. Since June, the number of deaths in Louisiana has more than tripled, 300% increase. Now our David Begno takes us inside one ICU at a Lafayette hospital to show us how healthcare workers are fighting two battles. There's the pandemic and also the spread of misinformation. 24 years old. This is Kaylee Rayo. She is one of the sickest COVID patients inside of the main ICU here at Our Lady of Lords Regional Medical Center in Lafayette, Louisiana. Her mother is Amy. We let our guard down. Um, we started venturing out. We booked a family vacation. We thought, like the rest of the world, this isn't that real of a virus. It didn't attack our family. But it did. When the Rayo family returned home from vacation, everyone in this photo tested positive for COVID. All of them were unvaccinated and all of them recovered from the virus, except for Kaylee, who was eight months pregnant at the time. She says, I'm very, very weak. And she had two purple circles, bigger than silver dollar bills on her cheeks. That was eight days after she was diagnosed with COVID. Her mother rushed her to the emergency room. Doctors delivered her baby, Crew, and five days later, Kaylee was placed on a ventilator. So Kaylee's doing okay. I don't think that she's a whole lot better. Certainly she's not worse. That was the update that Kaylee's mother received from Dr. Frank Cormier. Just from me personally, okay? I just want you to know, thank you. You said thank you, but something about the way you said thank you to me sounded personal to you. Yeah, it's personal. I know she's mom and doesn't want to lose her, but I sure, I sure don't want to either. What's going through your head? I'm scared for her. I don't want her to go through this. I hope we can pull her through. I just, we're just not in a phase yet where we know if she's gonna make it yet or not. Every one of the 24 patients in the main ICU here are COVID positive. Has a single disease ever filled every ICU bed in here? Never in my lifetime. Jennifer Mouton has been an ICU nurse for 37 years. We've been called murderers. We don't know what we're doing. I'm on social media well, the other day and somebody's on. educating me on what we should be doing to treat our patients. He was the manager of Mattress Gallery. <laughs> and I thought, well, you know, everybody needs mattresses. I, I support what you do. Yeah, good night. But in turn, I expect the same kind of respect. Amen. So, um, there was no crazy welcome to Lafayette, born and raised. One of the beauties of South Louisiana is how people rally together to help each other after hurricanes or floods. But in this pandemic, with only about 40% of this area fully vaccinated. There's fighting and yeah. division yeah. and hatred. If people could come and spend the day with me, I can assure you they'd be running to get vaccinated. But social media in this area is filled with lies and misinformation about the virus and the vaccine. There's another part of me that doesn't understand how the public can so easily believe random people on social media who have no medical background. Shannon Ivey is a COVID ICU nurse. So is her husband, Benjamin. To sit there and say, oh, well, they're just making it out to be way worse than it is, and it's not that bad. You know, I wish we were making it up. You know, I, I wish I wasn't holding the hands of somebody as they're about to be intubated while they look up at me and say, am I going to die? Since the onset of Delta variant cases of COVID-19, Dr. Cormier has only had two patients come off the ventilator and survive. It's something Kaylee Rayo's family is praying for. They've left a rosary in her hand and a prayer blanket across her bed and in her line of sight, just in case she wakes up are pictures of her family. The hardest part is leaving your children or your adult child fight this virus alone. She's the youngest COVID patient in the ICU. And she's fighting for her life. Over the weekend, Kaylee's lungs collapsed. The family was called to the hospital. They thought it was going to be the end. But Dr. Cormier and his medical team revived her and so she lives to fight another day. Before we left this hospital on Friday after spending nearly nine hours in the ICU, the staff asked one thing of us. 
they said, David, please tell people, get vaccinated. David, thank you. We can't uh, say that enough. No, we can't, can't say that and enough. We've said it over and over again. And and Kaylee's story, you know, gave me goosebumps to hear the doctor say she's not better, but she's not worse. worse. And you're no. holding on to the not worse part, and then you hear her lungs collapse, but she's still fighting. It's, I don't know what more we can say to people. And no. I think it's important to hear the nurses and the doctors say, this stuff is very, yeah. very, very yeah. real. And to hear people like David Begnaud go down there. He's from Lafayette. He's yes. from that town. Yep. Yeah. Just devastating to see her. She just gave birth and she's lying there in an ICU motionless. Exactly.